to the show, everybody. It's going to be a really fantastic one, actually. I couldn't be more excited. We're kicking things off with a super-sized Drew's News with an extra special guest. Yeah. I can't wait till you see who it is because we caught a big fish. All right? So let's get right to it. Hit the headlines. train and with me at the desk is the best news plumber in town it's ross matthews hi, hi everybody news plumber <laughs> i know right yeah you caught a big fish huh oh yeah we did mm -hmm. and actually i'd like to go live um to our special la correspondent it's oscar winner business maven and host of the new series sex love and goop ladies and gentlemen gwyneth paltrow what <laughs> prettiest, coolest, most amazing woman on the planet. I, I just, she checks every single box. I love I, you, Gwyneth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blushing. I'm sweating. Good. I want you to sweat. And I got to tell you, as much as I'm proud and humbled to call you my friend, you've known Rossi even longer. Yeah, is that crazy? True story. I always loved you. You know this. And my very first Oscars when I was covering up for Jay Leno back in 2002, I met Gwyneth and I said, will you be my best friend? And she said, yes. And she emailed me the next day. And we've been besties ever since. That's such a true story. Look at us. I mean, you just, you are the complete package and so much more. And I'm so excited to talk about some relevant headlines. And actually, our first story is a big fish in the sense of it is about the Marvel Universe. Ooh. Harry Styles is joining the Marvel Universe. That's right, everybody's what? favorite boy. <laughs> the Post reports that he's on board to play Eros, the god of love and sex. Huh. I mean, how perfect is this? And it's rumored that we can get a sneak peek of Eros in the newest Marvel movies, The Eternals, directed by Chloe Zhao, out November 5th. Now, in the comics, Eros can fly. He's got superhuman strength, and he has the power to <laughs> stimulate the pleasure centers. Oh. In the brain, where oh. was your mind going? Sorry. Um, of anyone within 25 feet. Now, I know my pleasure center is very jazzed about this cat thing. <laughs> um, GP, you're a Marvel maven. What do you think? This makes me want to dip my toe back into the Marvel universe. Right. Maybe Pepper Potts can intersect with uh, the Harry Styles of it all. Uh, you know, he is, he's playing the, the god of love and sex. This is what they call typecasting because <laughs> he looks like he knows a thing or two about a thing or two about both of those things, if you know what I mean. This just might be too much to handle. Oh, I could handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, how does one in the Marvel Universe interpret a god of love and sex? How do you, like, how does that work in the Marvel world? Well, I mean, that it, you just you just cast Harry Styles, and then you just you know put him without a shirt on, and there you go. You're absolutely right, and apparently the casting director agrees. Ross, your story. All right, GP, what about this? We're keeping it spicy. We've seen a lot of Hollywood couples snoogling in public lately. There have been some hot and heavy PDA from Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian. We've seen them everywhere. Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly, uh, <laughs> they've been doing hardcore PDA. But is this level of PDA for everyone? Well, a writer at Cosmo tried it in her relationship. And they, she said it actually increased her libido and pumped up her self-esteem just by showing a little PDA. So, GP, do you give it PG? <laughs> <laughs> I think they tend to keep it PG in public. I don't know. Maybe it's just um, maybe I should maybe I should loosen up a little bit, you know, and 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 uh, make out in public. I don't know. Maybe not. Were you ever that type? Because I used to totally PDA. Like, yeah. when you're dating Fabrizio Moretti of The Strokes, I was just constantly making totally. out with him. I couldn't <laughs> handle it. Why wouldn't you? I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't get enough, you know? Yeah. Were you ever PDA? 
I also did PDA with Fabrizio. <laughs> and, and I'm sure those curls just went a spray. <laughs> Here's my feelings about it. Um, I think there's an age gap or an age limit. Like, right. I, I do think that when you're young, you can just chalk it up to freedom, idiocy, and hedonism. But you get to a certain age, and it's like, Here's me at a dinner table with people PDAing. <laughs> this, this is your face when you yes. see PDA. Now I'm old and jaded, and I want to be like, pack it up, <laughs> move it to the bedroom, <laughs> sister. I'm trying to eat. All right, yeah, next do. up, golden agers. Speaking of, are still going at it too. In fact, I guess here's our answer. <laughs> and they say it's even better. The Good News Network reports that a recent survey of people over 50 found that 45 percent said sex gets better with age. Ross, Gwyneth, um, what do you think? I I want to be very clear. I am grateful for any sex that I get to have, but I <laughs> I do. I'm just grateful. My I love that you're grateful. Oh. I wouldn't be grateful to have sex with you too, Rossi. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't you hope, GP, that we are out there when we're older just really getting it? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. And I think older sex should be awesome. Like, why do we have to, I don't know, pack it all up and, and go home yeah. when we have all of this hopefully healthy life left to live just, you know, with more wrinkles? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, finally, mm -hmm. let's talk about this. USA Today just tackled an interesting relationship question. Is it strange if I want to be friends with my boyfriend's ex? Well, the resident therapist, Sarah Kubik, says it's fine as long as you evaluate why you want that friendship. And then make sure your boyfriend is totally okay with it. But it, mm -hmm. it is an interesting question. So you get in a relationship with somebody, their ex is still a friend or around there. Can you do that? Are you capable? Are you friends with your with brad's exes i i feel like i don't know but you know me i'm all into this conscious uncoupling thing and trying to keep good feeling and good sentiment between people and we don't have to come to a situation thinking like oh it's an ex so therefore i feel threatened or I, i'm gonna you know be predisposed to think negatively it's like what if we just said like hey the more the merrier and and not create negative feeling and try to create more positive feeling where we can so that's what i try to do it sounds super simple it would be beautiful but i understand sometimes it can be uncomfy and sticky and weird i think that comes out of insecurity yeah, I do. Yeah. I have no insecurity with Will and his wife, Allie. In fact, I wish I could be best friends with her, but I got some good advice, like not to, you know, kind of be too present in their relationship. We found just the right sweet spot. And I believe Me. I believe in this. Yeah, that's beautiful, Drew. I think it's amazing that you do that. I think so, too. I think it's beautiful. I do watch a lot of 90 Day Fiancé, and I will say that you guys are the minority, okay? A, a lot of people find a lot of drama, and so this is very evolved, you're thinking. And I don't think that it's, I don't think it's the norm. I think people are really uncomfortable in these situations with exes and this and that. The rules are so blurry. Do you even know what 90 Day Fiancé is, Gwyneth? Of course she does. Of course, I watched one, Brad and I over quarantine watched one whole season. Dude, I've, I've never been more proud of you than ever as a friend. <laughs> I am so, I, I'm so happy.